My mother once told me when she heard that I'm a Breslever, that I'm talking to Hashem, she said to me, you know, I also spoke once with Hashem. I told her, wow, yes, when, when it happened. She said, when I was 14, when she was 14 years old, and her father, my grandfather, passed away, so I went out from my house to the backyard, and I screamed to Hashem, you took my father, I will never going to speak to you ever again. That was her one conversation with Hashem. When she was 21, just for you to know, she lost her first husband. He was a pilot in Tzahal, in the IDF, and he been killed. The Egyptians shot his airplane, and he left her a widow with two orphans, two babies, one three months years old, and one one year and a half. And that's how she started her life. Okay, so now you're going to judge her on not believing in Hashem? Come on, are you crazy? How can you judge a person that don't believe in Hashem? The reason that people don't believe in Hashem, that people cannot recognize the Creator, is only because that He Himself, that loving Creator, is hiding His face from them. Like this Moshe said, You turned your face away from them. How can you blame them when you're hiding your face from them? So now, if we are the result of the fact that the Creator Himself decided to hide His face from our ancestors already 2,000 years ago, what can we do about it? How can you judge Him? Maybe you can judge the righteous ones, maybe the leaders of this generation, maybe, maybe, maybe you can judge them on not shining enough or not being positive enough, or not being friendly enough, inviting, in, I don't know, maybe. Probably they also have the reasons to be afraid, and to be so charedim, and terrified, and closing themselves. They also grew up in the exile. They were also trying to protect their, 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 their um, tribes, their communities, from, from evil inclination, from foreign cultures. Okay, I can also judge them favorably. Those leaders of our generation are not being mekavim or not inviting. Maybe you can judge them, but also you cannot, because probably they also have their reasons. So now, what can you do with a person that doesn't have no understanding, doesn't have no will, doesn't have no understanding and, and senses, doesn't have no emotions to the Torah? How can you judge him? You cannot. So what can you do? First of all, understand him. But like that we said before, you as a person with a kingship, a leader, a father in the house, a mother in the house, someone with power, with authority, okay, great. You have that obligation to go and spread the truth, your understanding, your wisdom, your charm, the light that you received from heaven, to your beloved ones, to your followers, to your circles, to the ones that are close to you. But you as an individual, someone that doesn't have no power, just a random person in the street that feels so far and neglected, you have only one thing that you are obligated to do, is to try to find yourself. Is to try to find your own connection to the Creator, and based on that, you can start building something. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.